Perfect. Hi, Thank everyone. You. Sorry about that. I, I am here at the Science Center in our animal room, and I've gone ahead and opened up our Mexican beaded lizard tank. Can everyone see the lizard in this tank? She's pretty well camouflaged, but she's right here. You'll notice that I have a snake hook and I'm wearing some pretty heavy duty gloves. This is because this lizard is the only venomous reptile in our collection. So I need to be extra careful when handling and working with her. She's actually one of only two known species of venomous lizard in the world. She is a Mexican beaded lizard, like I said. The other species that we know is venomous are Gila monsters. Mexican beaded lizards, like their name suggests, are found in the scrublands of Mexico, as well as south into sort of northern Guatemala and some Central American regions. Does anyone know the difference between venomous and poisonous? We have some species here that would be poisonous in the wild, like our dark frogs. So it looks like Trey and Corinne have their hand up, so they might be able to help you with this one. Awesome. Go ahead, Trey. We have a question. Yeah. Um, what does venom mean? That's a great question. Can anyone help Trey and Corinne out with that? What is it? What is venom? So venom is a toxic substance that when it's injected into prey, makes that prey sick to slow it down, or it might just fully kill the animal into which the venom is injected. So venomous creatures, when they bite you or stab you, they inject venom this substance into your body and it can make you sick. It depends on the animal that, that they're biting, whether that animal gets sick or dies or what exactly their response to the venom is. But that's what a venomous animal does to help it hunt prey and protect itself. So this lizard is venomous. If she were to bite me, I would need to make a trip to the hospital and try to get some anti-venom, some medication for that venom. And I would also be in really, really excruciating pain. I probably wouldn't die, but I'm not really interested in that, which is why I have all this lovely protective gear on this morning. Um, there is a difference between a venomous animal and a poisonous animal. So a venomous animal bites you and injects its toxin into you. A poisonous animal has the coating that is toxic or something inside its body that's toxic where if you eat that animal you would get sick. So our poison dart frogs in the wild, they would be poisonous to any predators that ate them, but they don't bite things and inject their toxins. So that is our, our main difference between poisonous and venomous. This lizard stores her venom in her bottom jaw so that when she bites something, it gets injected into that prey. She's pretty slow moving, but out in the wild, she would climb trees to get at bird's eggs. She might hunt small rodents and things. We're going to feed her a mouse in a little bit and see how big her mouth can open to swallow those things. Right now though, I wanna to try to give you a better view of our lizard. So I'm gonna pick her up very carefully using my snake hook. And bring her up towards the camera. So what colors can y'all see on her? see some folks typing furiously. What, what colors are you all noticing? 
Anything? I know it's hard to see with some of the lighting. Trey and Corinne say white yeah, and Yeah, sorry. Here, we'll put her, maybe I'll display her up on this log where you can see some more of her colors. Can bring my camera a bit closer, I think, then. Yeah. Trey and Corinne said so they saw a bunch of white and black as their main colors. Yeah, so. it might look white in the lighting. It's pretty, she's pretty yellow from where I'm sitting. But it's true, she's got this dark coloration and a pattern that helps her blend in in her habitat in patches of shade and light. And that, oops. Hold on a sec. Don't really want her leaving her tank. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. There we go. We're gonna stay in our tank today. So let's go ahead and grab her a mouse. Can you all see the lizard in her water bowl? She's showing off that yellow coloration now. I'm gonna see if I can get her to turn around and face us to eat this mouse. Some people think that monitor lizards like Komodo dragons are also venomous, but that's not actually proven. What we do know is that they have really dirty mouths. And so the bacteria in those lizards mouths, when they bite onto prey, it gets that prey infected so that it gets sick. All right, she's bitten onto this mouse. So we're gonna go ahead and watch her eat it now. I will take y'all off the tripod to give you a better view. So hold on a second. And just a reminder for those of you who have not joined us for a feeding before, that was not a live mouse. We did not put oh, it. Yeah. It was frozen when we gave, or frozen and then thawed out when we gave it to her. Yeah, we don't feed any of our animals live mice because that can actually injure the animal in a small enclosure like this. So you'll see she eats differently than a snake. Rather than forcing it down her jaw you, by dislocating her jaw, she's sort of chomping down. She still has really strong throat muscles. She's got a very wide mouth, you'll notice. So it's opening up all the way into the back. She's a little shy and hiding her face under this rock while she eats. We give her one or two small mice every week. And that's enough for her to be happy and grow fairly large. She's almost doubled, maybe tripled in size since we first got her. I'm having trouble remembering how small she was when she arrived. And you'll see that half of the length of her body almost is her tail. So she's chowing down pretty quickly on this mouse. If anyone here has watched the snake feeding, you know it typically takes them slightly longer to get that food down. Like Peter said, the mice that we feed out here have already been killed. They are frozen. They are bred for feeding to animals and lizards so that we can keep our collections alive. And we make sure that they're already dead when we feed them out so that the mice don't fight back and hurt our animals. And also because most of our animals were bred in human care. They've never hunted live prey before. Except for our cricket eaters. It's like she's finishing her meal. got that really long tongue and these bead-like scales help her to conserve water out in the hot desert. She's got a really lovely texture on her. 
Does anyone have questions or observations about our beaded lizard? As Room, you saw, a hand or a stretch? I couldn't tell what it's stretch. Okay. As you saw, she can be a little bit trickier to handle than some of our other animals, and that's why we take so many extra precautions. When you're visiting the museum, you won't ever see her out of her tank because we want to make sure that people are protected and safe from any venomous bites. If you are ever bitten by a venomous reptile, it's really important to stay calm and seek help immediately. But the best way to avoid being bitten is to be really respectful of animals in their habitats and be aware that you are a guest in the animal's home. Oops. So that is our Mexican beaded lizard. Peter, what are we up to tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, you and I will both be back and we're gonna be doing an activity where we're gonna look at uh, nano scale. So really tiny things. Um, it's called, an activity called I Spy Nano. And I'm just double checking. It looks like you don't need to prepare any extra supplies. Is that correct, Emily? Nope, we will have everything that you need with us on screen. Perfect. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. We hope we can see you tomorrow at 1030 for a really fun activity about things that are really tiny. So thank you all so much for joining us. And thank you, Emily, for sharing this really cool animal with all of us. Bye, everybody.